x raised to the power y minus y raised to the power s is equal to 17, where s is greater than y and greater than 0. What is the value of x and y? Solution. x raised to the power y minus y raised to the power s is equal to 17. Now, let's just transform this equation on the left hand side. Then, let's see. s raised to the power y this is equal to s raised to the power y to the power of 2 raised to the power 2. Then this is equal to s raised to the power y over 2 square. Let's call this one. Then also for this, we have y raised to the power s is equal to y raised to the power s to the power of 2 over 2, then this is equal to y raised to power s over 2 square. Let's call this 2. But if you look at this, 2 over 2 here does not formally change the equation because 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now let's substitute into this. We have s raised to power y over 2 square minus y raised to the power s over 2 square is equal to 17 and let s raised to the power y over 2 is equal to a and y raised to the power s over 2 is equal to b so we have a square minus b square is equal to 17. If you look at this, this is perfect square. That is u square minus v square is equal to u plus v multiplied by u minus v. And this is a plus b bracket a minus b is equal to 17. We see that s is greater than y, greater than zero. a plus b is positive. This is greater than a minus b. So let's look for the factor of this 17. 17 is 1 multiplied by 17 and 17 multiplied by 1. But since this is greater than this and this is positive and this is negative, a plus b is greater than a minus b therefore 17 is greater than 1 so this is out of this therefore we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to 17 times 1 so this will go for this and this will go for this we have a plus b is equal to 17 Let's call this equation theory. Then a minus b is equal to 1. Let's call this 4. Now let's add the two equations together. This will cancel this. Here is a plus a. 2a is equal to 17 plus 1. That is 18. Now let's divide both sides by 2. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. This one will cancel this. 2 here, 1. 2 here, 9. Therefore, A is equal to 9. From equation 2, A minus B is equal to 1. When A is 9, we have 9 minus B is equal to 1. A minus B is equal to 1 minus 9. Minus B is equal to minus 8 b is equal to 8 this is the value of b but we know that s raised to power y over 2 is equal to a then s raised to power y over 2 is equal to a is 9 or y raised to power s over 
2 is equal to b then y raised to the power s over 2 is equal to b is 8 s raised to the power y over 2 is equal to 9 let's square both sides let's square this square this s raised to the power y will be equal to 9 square then s raised to the power y is equal to t 1 then s raised to the power y is equal to 81 is t raised to the power 4 also y raised to the power s over 2 is equal to 8 then let's square both sides oh, y raised to the power s is equal to 8 square is 64 then y raised to the power s is equal to 64 is 4 raised to the power 3 now remember that we have s raised to the power y is equal to 3 over 4 then here is y raised to the power s y raised to the power s is equal to 4 raised to the power 3 then if you compare this very well the exponent here is equal to 4 and here s is equal to 3 if you compare the exponent here too this is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 s is equal to 3 also from here s is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 and our final answers are s is equal to 3 y is equal to 4 this is the final answer we can check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong let's check we have the given equation s raised to power y minus y raised to power s must be equal to 17 now s is 3 3 raised to power y is 4 minus 4 raised to power 3 must be equal to 17 and 3 raised to power 4 this is 81 minus 4 raised to power 3 that is 64 must be equal to 17 and let's see 81 minus 64 this is 17 which is equal to 17 which satisfies the given equation at s is equal to 3 y is equal to 4